We just saw that there are different types of sources on the internet. Primary versus secondary, current versus historical, etc. There are also books, periodicals, and original web content. So, you may ask, how do I know what source to use? Think of your topic as your ultimate destination. Like traveling, it's where you want to go. When you travel, there are many ways to get from point A to point B. You can get there by plane, train, boat, or car. Some of these modes get you there faster than others. Where you are and where you want to go determines which mode of transportation you will use. Suppose you want to go to Colorado. What is the most direct way to get from Florida to Colorado? By plane? or by boat. Even though you may be able to get there by boat traveling rivers, <laughs> a plane will get you there faster and with less hassle. However, to get from Miami to Key West, a boat may do the trick. Even though there can be many ways to get to any destination, some may be faster or more enjoyable than others. You could get to Key West by car, but your boat may provide a more relaxed and scenic trip. The information you need to help you get to your topic destination will be different for each topic. Your assignment requirements will affect the topic you choose. If your assignment requires current sources, no more than five years old, a historical topic may not be your best choice. If your instructor does not want you to use websites, or original web content, you need to make sure that you can find enough sources through other methods. This topic is historical in nature. In order to prove that slavery was not the primary reason for the Civil War, you would have to find out what were the major causes. There are many points of view by historians about this topic. Older and historical sources will come in handy during your research. In fact, comparing the opinions of historians from different eras may be a large part of your paper. This topic would not work for an assignment that requires current sources because although you may find a few current historical analyses of this topic, most of your resources will be outside this time constraint. The nature of this topic requires current sources. What's happening now in this area? Who is responsible? In addition, it will also be necessary to find local resources like newspapers. Some web content may be useful here to help you find state, government, or local news sources. To prove this thesis, you would have to show proof in the form of research that supports the claim. Using secondary resources such as health magazines that describe the best antioxidants and define antioxidants will be useful. You will also have to use research studies that demonstrate the effectiveness of antioxidants. These studies will include statistics which will add dimension and credibility to your thesis.